Sounds good. Thank you so much, Jim Well, Something we don't usually look forward to, work deadlines, running errands, shopping, shuttling the kids to practice. We all have busy lives. So how do we slow things down and find ways to appreciate the important things in life? Joining us now live, mindfulness author and lecturer, Dr. Greg Hammer. Good morning to you. Good morning. Great to be with you. So how do we slow things down? You know, this is Friday. People are leading into the weekend, which you would think is a time of rest, but people are go, 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 even right through the weekend, still answering work calls and emails and all of that. How do you put the brakes on it? Well, that's a great question. Obviously, we need to unplug periodically. I think we're really talking about chronic stress in this area where the effects of chronic stress lead to fatigue, uh, and we have uh, both physical and emotional mental fatigue. We don't sleep well. And when our sleep gets off the rails, we are too tired to exercise and our diet goes south. We tend to pick up sugary and fatty so-called comfort foods. So we really need to focus on our physical well-being when we're going fast and chronically stressed. Uh, get back to the basics on sleep, exercise and nutrition. Well, I find for exercise and those kind of things, I do better when you can do that first thing in the morning. What is a mindfulness exercise or trick or practice that we can put at the start of our day to sort of get everything set right for the rest of what we have to do? Sure. Well, you know, the, the remedy for chronic stress and, and slowing down beside our physical well-being includes our mental and spiritual well-being. So a mindfulness practice that we can do every morning is ideal. Um, you know, the one that I embrace and teach is called the GAIN method. There are certainly others, but it involves uh, getting up, doing our morning hygiene thing, and then finding a comfortable place to sit. And we get in touch with our breathing. We close our eyes. We slow it down, deepen it. This activates our vagus nerve and parasympathetic nervous system. And then we go through a brief self-guided tour of that for which we're grateful, accepting things we don't like that we can't change. Uh, the I in gain is intention. We need to have a plan. So we kind of get in touch with our current experience. So our plan includes being more present. And the N is non-judgment. We can learn to drop the judgment of others and the world and, and most importantly, ourselves, return to deep breathing and then open our eyes. We're ready to go out in the world. Now that sounds like it's a wonderful thing to engage in. May take, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. Is there one thing that you can tell us to do sort of in the moment when you feel yourself getting ramped up later in the day, maybe when the day's kind of gotten away from you that can kind of pull it back in line? Absolutely. Well, we can do the gain practice in just three minutes. So uh, that's a great way to three start minutes. the day. And then what happens later in the day when we're feeling stressed, we're going fast, just focus on the breath, focus on slowing and deepening the breath, maybe uh, inhaling three seconds, pausing for three seconds and exhaling over four seconds. That alone will bring us back to the gratitude, acceptance, intention, non-judgment practice. Uh, and also again, activate our vagus nerve and parasympathetic nervous system, bring our heart rate, blood pressure and blood sugar back down to normal. Does journaling factor into this at all? Because I would think sometimes if you've written some of these things down, like the things that you're grateful for in that quick moment when you're flipping through your notebook and something else is driving you crazy, there it is. I know Absolutely. these things are solid and uh, <laughs> they bring me joy. Absolutely. If you're if you can journal, that's great. But, you know, if you're not somebody who sticks to a habit of writing things down, at least go through things for which you're grateful uh, a couple of times during the day and especially when you're going to bed at night. Maybe just think of three good things that happened during the day. And actually, it's been shown in scientific study, particularly at Duke University, that this three good things practice is uh, one that leads to better sleep and increased happiness, lower stress. All righty. And who can't go for increased happiness and lower stress on a Friday or any day that ends in Y? Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Pleasure to be with you, Sinceri.